in New York City, every randomly, like very, very rarely do I ever see a CTSV, but I usually see a CTSV as a wagon, or I'll see it as the coupe. But you don't really see very many of them. To, and it, what what sucks about this car is it's just too small. Like it, it's not the the last generation CTS was a pretty decent sized car. Unfortunately, as for a wagon, it just wasn't big enough to really be a wagon. I mean, it had a little bit of vertical space if you were going to store things vertically, but it just wasn't big enough to be a wagon. The Dodge Magnum was the perfect size for a wagon. The Dodge Magnum was the perfect size to be a family car, the perfect size to be a wagon, the perfect size to be a work car. Like if you bought the Dodge Magnum, you'd only pay what, fifty, fifty-five thousand dollars You could get an SRT model, pay less than $60,000, you have a full-size wagon, a, a, a monstrous engine, and it's, it's a shame that they haven't brought the Magnum back because we don't really have a decent wagon. The only thing you have an option for is uh, CUVs and and SUVs and there's some people who really don't want the ride height of a CUV or an SUV. I mean, could you imagine a Dodge Magnum or even a CTSV? Could you imagine one of those things with all wheel drive? And could you imagine a Dodge Magnum with the Hellcat engine? Could you imagine that? Like a Hellcat engine and all wheel drive? That would be insane. And you know, um, I was here on the Southern State Parkway. Most of these people, I've been just passing them by like, like easily, like it's nothing. But when I look at this thing, this CTSV came with 556 horsepower and it was supercharged. And uh, this thing could take me down whether I've got a Jeep or a 300. I mean, this thing is a, a sleeper wagon monster, but the thing about it is you know exactly what it is when you see it. And it's still a good looking car. Unfortunately, the interior could have been better, but the exterior is pretty damn good. The exterior really holds up, it looks good, but um, it's a shame that Cadillac never put the uh, V8 supercharged in um, the XTS. It's a shame that uh, they're not trying to compete on a on a price to price basis with anybody else and they feel that they can charge top dollar for their cars because I really don't feel that they can but they apparently do so my only thing is I don't know SRT I mean they've got Hellcat Charger they got Hellcat Challenger so you've got two different choices you got a coupe and you got a four-door sedan the most powerful sedan ever made by human hands and um you know, it's really amazing that uh, America can build stuff like this, but they just become so short-sighted. I mean, if I was like some super rich person and, and I could buy just about any car and, and, and m gas money is no object, the thing about it is I want like the most powerful engine I could possibly get. So on the subject of Cadillac, I noticed a uh, CTS 2.0 Turbo. And this is a Mary Kay edition. I actually reviewed the same woman with the same car before. Cadillac really thinks they can get away with charging people $70,000 for one of those things fully loaded. I think they're out of their mind. 